I really like the fact that UCL is an internationally recognised university and that it has very good teaching and top quality research. And when I came to visit the university at the end of year 12, I really loved it. I liked the surrounding, I liked the way the campus was. And so I was absolutely determined to come here. Uh, well, I've always wanted to be a doctor um, from a very young age because I'm... Um, I really like the sciences and I also like working with people and I think medicine is a very good way to combine the two and so that's why I chose to do medicine. Um, Living in London is very fun because there's lots to do and there are lots of people about so even if um, the student union doesn't cater for your interest you can always go out to a nearby place to do something that you, you enjoy more. I think it really benefits your studies um, being in London because whatever subject you're studying there's bound to be an, um, a center of expertise or excellence somewhere in London like the Institute of Child Health or anything like that so in that sense it's very good. Well I hope to obviously work um, as a doctor in a hospital maybe in the field of gynecology or pediatrics but I'm not sure yet but one thing I also really want to do is to um, um, work as a doctor in developing countries to kind of help people who don't even have um, access to basic health care at the moment. There are lots of academic facilities in UCL just to help to enhance your studies and to make make your studies better. Um, the library is one is one example. They have all the books that you're likely to need for your degree so you can get away with not even buying a single book and the librarians are very helpful also they have an online system where you can request search and renew your books and you can also search the electronic database for journals um, which you're likely to need in your final year so the academic facilities are very good they're also museums such as the Grant Museum um, which can also be used um, to help with your studies there's so much to do at UCL, um, aside from the academic side, there's so many clubs, societies, what, like, whatever your interest is, there's bound to be something that caters for you. But I'm particularly into volunteering, and there's many opportunities to do that at UCL. Um, at the moment, this year I'm the assistant coordinator for SKIP, which stands for Student for Kids International Project. And basically we're just working with a community in Ghana to set up a vocational school for young mothers who've yeah, obviously had babies and had to drop out of schools. I'm also a student ambassador for UCL, so I show around um, younger students and tell them a bit more about the university and just getting into university in general. And I'm also part of um, MARO, which is um, the student branch of the Anthony Nolan Trust, which is a Burma register. But I mean, these are just my interests, but there's so many um, other volunteering opportunities and just other non-academic um, things to do at UCL that it's really fascinating. Um, in my first year I lived in um, John Dodson which was um, really fun. Um, you got the opportunity to meet lots of people from other degree courses which you may not have, um, you may not have had the opportunity to do otherwise and you know it's good because you can keep in contact with them even after you leave halls and it's just a really good way to learn to be independent, you know, um, doing cook, doing your own cooking and things like that. And so I would definitely recommend it. I think that being at UCL is obviously um, amazing. UCL is currently number nine in the world, so internationally is very recognised. The studies, um, the teaching is very good. So much to do otherwise in a great location, you know, absolutely fantastic.